Hi, Jiro doers, and welcome back to this new video on multi-company and branch management. Our Bloom business has been blooming recently, and we just opened another store in Belgium. Since Odoo allows the building of a hierarchical structure between different main companies or subsidiaries, we need to add that new store to our database. That way we can manage everything in one place. So here we are on our database. Let's go to the settings app and we'll click on manage companies. From here, we have an overview of all of our main companies. So far, that's one in Belgium and one in Canada. Let's add our new Belgian branch to the Belgian main company. Note that we want to create a new branch and not a new main company, so let's be sure to create it from the main company's branches tab. Now, before we go on, you need to know a few things about main companies and branches. First, the main currency, the chart of accounts, and the taxes of the main company apply to all of its branches. None of those can be different for a specific branch. However, we can create branch-specific journals. Second, there's a common fiscal period handled by the parent company. So lock dates, closing dates, those all apply to all of the branches also. Third, the main company has access to its branches' reports, invoices, bills, so on. Basically, the main company can see everything, whereas the branches can only see what's directly related to them. Finally, the main company and its branches must be located in the same country to ensure accounting consistency. So on the branches tab of the main company, let's click add a line to create a new branch. Each branch can have its own address, logo, and so on. And you can even add branches to your branches by clicking into that tab and following this same process. There's no limit to the number of branches that you can have. So we are going to add Bloom Antwerp, and we'll add the address, the zip code, city, and country. Excellent. So when we're done, we'll go ahead and save and close. And now if we go back to the main company's overview, we can see that our branch has been added to the main company. If we click on our main company in the top right, uh, we can see that we now have the branch is also checked. That's because the main company should have access to all of the branches. If instead we click onto Bloom Antwerp, we can see that the Bloom main company is no longer selected, indicating that we have access to only the current branches data. Can all of the users access all of the companies? Great question, Anne Francoise. So if you want, you can restrict or grant access to specific companies for specific users. This allows the user to see only records strictly related to the companies they are allowed to access, be it the main company or the branches. To do so, we're going to go back into the settings app and we'll click on manage users. In the users section, we can select one and we can give access to whichever companies and branches we like. Now, if you trade between your own companies, you can also activate in the general settings, the intercompany transactions option. This is going to let you choose which documents you want to automatically create when trading between your own companies. So that's all for multi-company and branch management in Odoo. This has been your pal Dal. I'll see you in the next one.